a sweet spot there for the hooky hooky. I think so. Yeah, we can come up just a little bit so it's above the porch. Because when we land, it'll knock it out of your hand. Yep. <coughs> yeah, happy? Good, happy. Ready? Okay, there we go. Look out below. And come down two meters, Lynette. Two meters? Yeah, down two, please. Winch, nav. Can you pay out another two meters, please? Slack, eh? Yeah, it should be. I'm gonna just come and sit on the horns here. Okay. Got it there. Yeah, let me see if I can pull some uh, tension in it there to so we can unhook it. Stow the craft and Stow uh, the craft. can bring the uh, wrist down on the magnum. Yep. <coughs> wrist down. Shoulder or the elbow, something. Yeah, down. elbow. Elbow's up pretty far. And the wrist up, it doesn't have a lock valve. That's looking alright, yeah. Okay, am I still on my happy heading? You uh -huh. wanna Welcome can west. You, can you bring the uh, wrist up a little bit? Yeah, wrist up. Just look at, look at the umbilical camera. I don't think it can, it's because uh, it's... Oh, I'm pulling yeah. you up. Yeah, yeah sorry. <coughs> um, okay, come up a couple meters on the winch voice. Other winch. Winch, now. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I forgot to Please say. come up two meters, please. Roger. Can, uh, heave in another two meters. <laughs> <laughs> Winch nav, can we have another two meters coming up? You ready to let go, Dick? Roger, 
Okay, you can let go. Okay, you can have him come up easy, should be taking the weight up easy and get the load. Roger, uh, can you continue to come up easy, please? Tell him he should be taking weight. Tell him he should be taking weight, Lynette. You should be taking weight now. Stow the magnum if you want, Jake. Okay. All right, at least get it so it's not out in the front there. Yeah, that's good for now. It's not coming. Uh, tell him to hold what he's got there on the winch for a minute. Winch, nav, come all stop, please. Oh, he's good. Come up, come up easy. Up, 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 up. All right, come on up with the winch. Yeah, come up 10 meters a minute. Yeah, come up continuously 10 meters a minute, please. Copy. Coming up <laughs> continuously 10 meters a minute. I think it looks like it was buried into the ground a good foot. Yeah, well, once it comes out of the seabed, we want to keep coming up on it, all right, so it doesn't keep boinging on the seabed, beating it. Tighten our tether up and yep. we'll, we'll chase it up 10 meters and then let it go by Atalanta. Uh, have him uh, come all stop there for a minute on the winch. Winch, come all stop, please. All stop. Okay. Uh, come down five, Jake. We'll just have a look at it here and make sure we're happy. Mm -hmm. All looks okay there, Dirk. Happy with that? I'm happy with it. Hooks hooked. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, are you happy with how that's riding? Go that looks good, yeah. Everything. I haven't seen anything move. So that's good. Okay, Jake, you can tighten us back up and come back around to our right. happy heading there. And uh, Okay, Lena, you can have him come up 10 meters a minute. Continuous. Winch now. Please come up continuously 10 meters a minute. Copy, coming up continuously uh, at 10 meters per minute. <coughs> <coughs> but your, uh, your head ain't come around or what happened there? Just the fish in the way, eh? Yeah, that's just end of the, the tether's pretty tight too. Uh, so. I see me now. Oh, I see me at the bottom. Forty-five meter delta with a fifty meter tether. Yeah, tight tether. That's what we want. <laughs> it's like operating with a broken TMS, which I've done once or twice. For <laughs> days at a time. Are we following it up or are we just... No, I'm going to hold here. It should... Okay. We'll watch it. 
come by Atlanta at uh, 20 meters away from us. Yep. Fabio, oh, I think I see it. For the push course, do you have a preferred spot? No, nope, that's just a fish. On here. Any flat space without any disturbance. So we'll aim for closer to the node eventually, then maybe nearer to yeah. the larval trap. Yeah, a bit south there. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Should be in Deary, uh, what's that say, 20 meters away from me? Yeah, still waiting it up on the sonar, 20 meters away. It's just here, right there. And up a bit, Jake. Yep. That's it. It's gone. Gone, gone, gone. Oh, I still got a sonar hit. Maybe, or is it a fish? I all I see is fish. <laughs> <laughs> I see oh, there, it out yeah, there in the globe. There it is. Uh, unless that's just another fish. <laughs> no, I think that's a white. Ten meters a minute, right? Let's see. Yeah. like a moon lander. It does look a bit like outer space there. Yeah. Yeah, space fish. Hmm. Space fish. Saying. Well, I got feed feeding platforms leaving. <laughs> okay, Lena, you can tell the deck they are clear to surface at, I don't know, whatever speed they want to do. <laughs> whatever Dirk's comfortable with hauling his package up. I think any speed is fine. Um, I think, you know, faster the better, almost less heave. Roger. 40, 40 meters a second. For, Winch, for, for no? our concerns, he's clear to surface. You're clear to surface, whatever speed you like. Bobby, increasing speed to 30 meters per minute. Roger. Okay. We hey. are, I think we're push coring? Push cores, yeah. Push cores. Headed down. And level trap. Right so, uh, push cores, we're looking for a flat, undisturbed spot. You can uh, put the so rope down back up there if you want on it. Thank you. I'm just going to run off to the uh, south here downstream a bit. Out in the safe, don't drop stuff on my head zone.
Hey, Dirk, it's Allison. Are you free? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just curious on if you have a time estimate for what you're wanting to do with uh, surveys and everything. Yeah, I think um, we still have to do a couple things before we start the surveys. So I would say probably close to five hours from now, likely. Okay, awesome. Sounds good. I'm going to come out 135-ish into some... Uh, one, three, five, eight. Clean water out here. Roger. Coming down a few more meters. Yeah, come down to our normal 35-ish, I think. Stop at the winch. Right. Turn our head back around into the current. So. All right. Fisher stirring it up. I think we're doing uh, push cores, eh? That's the ground plan. Yep. It's a fish stop running into the seafloor. Go ahead, Winch. I'm just going to pay out about uh, five more meters and re wrap. Roger. Fun push course. Yeah. I'm going to turn off a few lights here so you don't need our uppers. <laughs> Zero biz push course. Gotta love it. Fabio, is that uh, is that non disturbed enough for you? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be hard. The fish are like dive bombing the seafloor, yeah. and they're gonna be anywhere we go. So it, yeah, that's <laughs> it was non disturbed when we, <laughs> yeah. when we sat down the fisher. Try to do it without any lights on. No, I don't know. This is probably good. Hey, Fabio, we're yeah, not gonna yeah. get better. Okay, so we're fine. This is a good spot. I mean, he wants them a meter apart each, so we might have to do a couple, scooch forward and do a couple more or something a like that. A meter apart? That's what yeah. it says here now. It was 50 centimeters before, but we could just scooch after the first... 50 centimeters? Oh. Yeah. Before, yeah. Well, I guess you can take I two and then that. That's, uh, move on. Boo-boo. Yeah, so the ray actually messed up with one of our samples. One push core failed because of that uh, event. What event? Well, the, there was a ray 
I don't uh, think you have to worry about doing them, Bob Stone. You can just uh, stuff them and sorry. stow them. That's okay. Kate. They came and kind of. Oh yeah. Trevor got Why all the, not coming out? the tube a little. Pulling an angle. Uh, trying to avoid the skate uh, and. Pitches straight down. It didn't come any sediment. The, uh, oh yeah, I saw that one. That would not have been a fair reflection of the core if you had like a skate puck. Okay. Like the cookie cutter shark. Yeah. Right on top of this fish? Oh, Ish, yeah. Uh, if you do one to the left here, then you can do Ish the other one to the right, a meter apart. Turn the down light back on if you want. Oh. I don't know uh, if that helps. You need the fog lights. Better with it off, eh? Yeah. Yeah. When you are able to read Why? additional. Of course. Can I run <laughs> forward? That'll be a little better. Hit my camera. When you're able to rig any additional push cars, you put on the porch, or where do you put them? Yeah, we have a milk crate of push cars that uh, we put on the porch. Really high tech. High tech milk crate. It's a highly modified for science milk crate. <laughs> okay. I wanted to see one I day. I have no idea how deep that is. Want to zoom in a bit for us, Jacob? Roger. I don't think you go a little more, maybe. Not much. You're welcome. Could I call that? I see the vehicle start lifting up. I'd say that's probably good. Not at the surface stuff, I don't think. Huh? EDNA analysis of the surface? The, the surface of the core? You do that? Well, we're looking for a trace of a sable fish. We oh. see uh, so I'm sure we'll find lots of skin and uh, other bits. But uh, to strike EDNA from the sediments are way more complicated than yeah. from, the, from the water. Yeah. don't seem to mind it being all stirred up. stirred up for days.
It's as clear as it gets, Jake. <laughs> cool. Sorry. Zero vis push course. Zero vis push course. Oh, no, uh, is that what? full wide? Oh, that's, yeah. That's full wide, yeah. I can go slightly further back, but you'll see the house. That's okay. Wonder if still cam has a better view. Uh, not really. Uh, you can see the arm, but that's about You can't really see the bottom. Just use force feedback. All right, out again. You can do it right in front, a little closer, if that helps. So you'll be able to see better. We're in a fresh spot now. Zoom in there a bit for us, Jacob. Roger. Nope, can't see anything. Now, uh, at that angle, when your arm hits the mud, you're uh, you're going to be all the way down, right? Because your wrist is horizontal. I have no idea how deep zoom that in is. It, zoom in a little more. Roger. Uh, a little more. I'd say go a couple more inches. Okay. I reckon that'll do. Roger. Okay, Jacob, you can go wide. One wide. Or semi-wide. You're welcome. Perfect. Look at that push cord. Okay. Come up and get some clear water for stuffing it in the hole there. Um, Dan, um, question for you about the transects later on. Sure. Um, is there a preferred direction for the ship and RV to be traveling in if we want to maintain that 0.5 knots? Uh, forward. So forward, like north-south, east-west. Uh, right now he's facing uh, southwest, so... Heading in the southwest direction yeah. is the best case? Uh, well, for the ship, yeah, and that also will put us into the current a little bit kind of sideways on so we can see with all these fish we don't want to if we go downwind you know we'll have a fish cloud chasing us so Kay. yeah anything uh, <laughs> anything to the westish I don't know if that's uphill or downhill but that's downhill that's downhill <laughs> um, okay well let me let we, me could, we, could, all, we like could go radically up, downhill uh, or could along the Oop. the ridge of the canyon. Oh, here. but just this okay. is huge, right? We could probably also yeah, go yeah. Uh, northwest, but yeah, yeah, yeah. The currents, uh, yeah, 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 to the east, pretty well. Yeah. I think I don't know. Maybe it's changed now. Do, am I grabbing another bridge car? Yep, yep. I think we're gonna shoot all of them, right? Yeah, all all five. Go ahead, Winch. Uh, we are just pausing here at 300 meters for a little bit to adjust the level line. Roger. Does yeah, that, that work for you, Fabio? Huh? Does we that can, we can also yeah. go the other way if you want, and we could go northeast. Northeast? Uh, sure. Okay. How about northeast? Northeast okay. is good. Okay, I think but northeast is preferred. Yeah, uphill. Yeah, we can do that. I wanna see We're moving at, you know, half a knot. The, we should stay ahead of the dust storm. <coughs> I'll look 
for evidence of trawl marks Ready? in this area. That would be cool. Yeah. Slow down at the last second there when you're close in the front. <coughs> oh, sorry there, fish. Ready? Ready. Okay. Push in again for a stick up. Go ahead, Winch. Call it good. Uh, we may be paused here for a few minutes, uh, trying to adjust the level wide here. We will update you soon. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> okay, you can go wide. Thanks. One wide. Level wide grief. some clear water here. <laughs> Semi-clear water. Ready? Are you up above the porch there? Yep. Come in, come in. Right. Okay, we're in. 
Try and check up and zoom in, please. Eh, stop moving the camera. Tell which way the wind's blowing. Okay, it can go white. You're welcome. Well done. Sweet. Five cores. Good Five job. Cores. Okay, sweet, yeah. Which? Oh. Oh, what is that? ONC trash. Bungie. Bungie by a connector. Where are we here? Is this what we just did? Yeah, we're off to the east no, of it. This is a different connector. One of those stern cameras have so much fish in it. The one that has the umbilical cord yeah, in it. Uh, oh yeah, so Atalanta, yeah. much. That's Atalanta's stern? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> so much. That's crazy. Too bad we can't like deploy a net. Because I hear that this is the fish we have for fish and chips. Oh. Or miso yaki. Do you guys like miso yaki? I don't know what miso yaki is. What is, it? What is that? Miso, miso yaki. yaki is like, like steamed fish, I think. Oh, yeah? never had it. With like Japanese food. Good? Yeah. When you come to Hawaii, I'll have to take you. Yeah, miso yaki. Oh. You remember? You, did you uh, ever have miso yaki? I don't remember about the miso yaki, but you just made me remind me of poke. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and in Victoria, there's so many places that sell poke, but they're not they're not nearly as close to what you have in Hawaii. Uh, Black cod makes really good fish and chips. Fish and chips. Yeah, BC has a ton of very fancy seafood, but you don't really Expen eat it in BC. Expensive, eh? Yeah, you, they don't even sell it, really, so... We have this and we have spot prawns, like a very specialized prawn, or like a very... I want to spin around the Fancy prawn, but you zero, can't really buy four, it. Five. It's all exported. Zero, four, five. So the next task is over at the node. Oh, I thought we were going to do transects, all right. Over back at the node? Back at the node, yeah. That's uh, to the west, is it? One larval trap. I don't know where you are now. Um, on my oh, map. I'm gonna come up on the tether a little bit here. Gotcha. It's it's dead north of the IP by about. Uh, I see it. BC node fish acoustic experiment. Where is it in relation to that north? Uh, this. It's north of the fish acoustics. Yeah. Roger. North, slightly north, um, slightly <coughs> north east. Uh, okay. So it should be like due north from here. But yeah, we're gonna need a ship move to get there. Okay. You can now uh, move the ship. You fine with that with the winch line in the water? Oh. Yeah, no, we gotta wait for that. Okay. Sorry, I forgot about the winch. Yeah, it's about 60 meters north of the IP, so... Well, I'll find the IP first. There's a sonar target around here. So in front of me. I 
to come down five meters. Jake. Coming down five meters. I'm actually ten meters further than the yellow. My blue dots are ten meters away. Yeah, so the change in the dive plan is we were going to do the um, surveys next, but we, we might not end up back at the IP or back at the nodes, so we thought pick up the larval trap first and then we can end up wherever we are. Roger. See if I can come down and light up something on the sonar here. We got the gain all patterns. What do you think? We've a wrap. You can uh, you can turn and take out your six eight and nine. Okay. If you want your high enough that up? That would be, be this way, I believe. Yes. They need sonar targets around here. What's well, mm. closest to us is that it? Oh wait, I see one way out there. That could be it. The IP should be 50 meters east of the uh, of the thing we just recovered. Yeah, I think I see the node out there on Atlanta sonar, 20, 40, 65 meters. That's where we want to go, right? The node? The node. Node, yeah. I'm going to range up the Gemini. <coughs> or sorry, the Tritech. C whatever, C thing. C King. <coughs> C King. Thirty meters. Does it, will it do more than that? I think so, yeah. Fifty? Sure. Target, target. Meter. You want to go, uh, we can go tail to tail there, so you're going to have to come around okay. can counter clock? Or no, clock. Clock. And then uh, we'll take off auto heading? Yeah. Zero reps. Definitely got something right there. Yeah. Seeking shows it very well. Oh, that's the um, termination. So nine meters from that should be the node. Yeah. And I think off to your right. There's yeah. an oily going to it. Yeah. yeah. There's another target there. Yeah. I think you can kind of see there it goes. I can see the oily when I'm uh, We're not tugging Atalanta towards the cable, are we? No. no. Pulling it 
the way. You want to range back down on the... Yep. <gasps> so, we won't normally navigate from the node, but the larval trap could be over in this area on your screen, kind of in there. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for, is larval traps, eh? Yeah, that's what we're looking for. All right, Dick, you should be able to find those. So. Yeah. Larval trap is supposedly 26 meters at 295 from the node, which is that yellow thing on the top right of your screen. So it's pretty much dead west of that. Roger. I see some little white specks out there. I don't know yeah, what some bullpen looking deals. Appears to be larval traps. It's another white speck. Huh. I don't know what those are. Or not larval traps. No, but it's got to be in this area. Well, look at Atalanta view. My goodness, it's cool. What is our um, distance from the node right now? Or is it hard to turn that way? Uh, yeah, I can't turn that way, but I can see it uh, 20 meters in the sonar there. Let's yeah, so we're looking now. for 26 at, yeah, at 295. So it should be very close to here then. Uh, yeah, yeah we're kind of at the end of our leash. Oh, yeah, we're further than that. I pulled out a lens to how far? Ten meters. <laughs> so Ten meters. The, the larval trap is by the termination assembly, or nine meters. Or it's a. Uh, I think it's about. It's that's the heading from the node. So there's a twenty whatever meter. So. So this is twenty six from here. And this is fifty meter from here. Fifty. No, no, it's oh, just it's a fifty meter cable. It's nine okay. meters. Okay. Okay. It's not on scale and stuff. Yeah. Well, here, we'll do this. Uh, there, there. Oh, there's one. That's we're only looking for one, so that's it. That's it. That's all. That's the one we want. Yeah. Roger. One time we were down here and we recovered one. Um, didn't have come time down. to do the second one. Come down five meters. Okay? Coming down five meters. Do you think these samples are still useful on these Fabio? They've uh, been down there. Actually, I didn't think they were, but I spoke with Craig Young, and we sent him to his lab at University of Oregon, and he analyzed samples from that were in the seafloor for two years, and they were still five very meters. good. Okay, so optimistic. Okay. Sorry, I can't hold the rail still there. I'm trying. Oh. You're going in the starboard box? Yeah. And this button oh, here. That one had a surgery done. <laughs> that PVC leg yeah. was broken.
you put it? Uh, oh. Forward in the box, a monkey fist will be less likely to go in our thruster. Looks like they got the winch working again. Yeah. It's coming up. Yeah, slider all the way forward there if you can. Oh, this way? Uh, no, forward on the vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, it's a hot ticket. And if you, uh, Stick your jaw real close to the box there, it might trap some of it, I say. Or not. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay. You're still impressed after that many hours of diving? <laughs> <laughs> Only if 90% I'm plus of the screen are covered in fish. 80% <laughs> I'm not impressed I'm in anymore. <laughs> Only one larval trap? Only the one, yep. Cool. So, so next we want to pick a heading and uh, get ready for a transect. Get ready for a transect. Yeah, yeah we're we're basically, we're basically ready. Okay, so what um, what heading was that that we decided on? I think we decided like zero four five ish. Zero four five? That's great. Happy with that. Boat just go backwards and Yeah, that's perfect. Might check with uh, the bridge and see if they can do half an out backwards, but I don't see why not. It's dinner time. Uh, do you want to wait till the wire is out of the water? Yeah, yeah, just... You might check with them, because okay. <coughs> they've been, like, doing this weird turning their heading thing. Okay. Yeah, you can just wait. <laughs> do you want to go eat, eat, or do you want to come here? You guys can go eat. We're in this Westland Dixie, so. All right. You guys go I mean, eat. One of us can stay up here if you want. No, you guys go eat, and then uh, come right. back and relieve me, Kay. and then you guys can do the uh, survey. We might do a kilometer actually. Yeah. No. Uh, but something we could watch. I just wanted to make sure the bridge was able to function. So ROV trap out in the middle of nowhere. We have a location for that thing. Or is this a uh, known location for this ROV impaler? The 
Does someone see have a fix on it or? Uh, no, no, just curious. We have it, right? All right. A fix you got it. Yes, assuming there was an instrument on there once, then yes, we do. Once upon a time. Fabio, can you explain on the stakeholder chat how you prefer to do the logging of biology during um, the transects? So do you want show support again? That means having two people logging biology or do you want to do it on your own? I probably, I'm not sure if I will be logging to be honest. Fair enough. Um. Shall we just say show always logging, please? Yes, okay. please. Okay, will do. <laughs>
What? I didn't. I just like barely touched it. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Jacked it all up. I did this. <laughs> One of these hotkeys up here does something really wonky. That's uh, this one. Oh, look. Wow. I'm just pressing buttons randomly. That looks like it zoom out. Or it's supposed to be. Wow. What do the other ones do? This one does that. Nothing. I like that. That's F11. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, F10 is like full on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at all that. Look, that's all the less panning you'll have to do. So that was F10, F11, F9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. F10 and F11. Don't tell it anything. Escape. F11. Mm. Same way we did, pushing buttons randomly. <laughs> yeah, when I reach up to do this monkey business up here, it Were you uh, were you around yesterday when we were feeding them? Yeah, there was uh, we hauled up this package and there was a bunch of snails and uh, let's see the albatross were not impressed, but the little um, yeah, what did we call those? We called them. Uh, So the albatross would, yeah, I forget what we we're calling them now. Anyways, uh, somebody already did them, but, um, oh, hey, what is that? Too many cables. I need to put this in my hand over it. <laughs> Maybe if I take a picture of it, I'll remember. This is where the... Sorry, sidetrack there. Anyways, the little the albatross would, like, they'd go for it and get it in their beak and then fling it, and then another one would get it. They weren't like, they're like, yeah, this is not fish. But the little guys would come in, and once they got it, they would fight over it. It was quite entertaining. I got a picture of them, if that'll help.
Palmar. Palmar. They seem happy to eat. Uh, I had some, there were some jellies and some. The albatross seemed to be strictly fish diet. It's a huge nest site there. I, I forget one of the capes there in uh, Oregon. I go and visit. Yeah, it's surprising how big they are when you get up close. They crack me up because they look so dorky when they're walking on water. But it's so graceful when they're in the air. Yeah. Like crash landing. <laughs> Is still in here, Dirk? No, he's having dinner. We have Fabio here. He needs knobs. Fabio probably didn't know how the load cell on the Hobbit winch works. It's just curious if it had. Uh, I know it's got a load cell, just. Yeah, okay, I'm on this
a little bit. These are sable fish. I think they're yummy in fish and chips. They are sable fish. I could go for some fish and chips. Oh, look, we've got instruments coming up. Yep, there they are. Which one's that uh, camera? Camport? Nope. I believe it's starboard. That's not on here. Uh, <laughs> I'm not touching that. <laughs> there we go. I like this view. That's a good view. That's the stitched view, right? 180. Or is it just a wide angle? I think it's a wide angle. Ah, OK. It's been nice to have up during recovery. Oh, yeah. It's a good view for just getting Herc on deck. Uh -huh. This vanilla goat milk ice cream. Oh, that sounds amazing. With lavender. What? That's oh, I hope that's not gone. I'm having that. There, really was, good there were several pints of it. So. Okay. Are there alternatives? Yeah, there's regular vanilla bean, there's the hazelnut, and then uh, that deep cho chocolate that we've had okay. every Sunday. Don't worry, people. We only get ice cream on Sunday. It's how we know what day it is. Yeah, only way we know how weeks pass. How many times have you had ice cream? You can count that, and you know how long you've been at sea. Well, uh, days kind of bleed together. Yep. There you go. Yes. They all came closer. They're like, what you got? What you got? Anything good? Anything we want? Any sable fish? Is that Dan? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
that thing. Oh, maybe Jacob could uh, point down a little bit. Does that camera move? Yes, it does. Sweet. There we go. That was the money shot. <laughs> Looks like all this stuff still is attached for now. This is great. Fish, recovery. So many animals all in one screen. Wall. Birds. So many birds, so many fish. Albatross. So many robots. All the things. So many good things.
Check. Yeah. Is craft on? Uh, I'm gonna say no. Yeah, probably not. Hydraulics? Yeah, it's off. Yeah, that's what we've been saying. 1.2 megs. Yeah. Makes sense. <coughs> Bob can take a look at it when he gets in. <laughs> yeah. Stand by, fishy situation. <laughs> the weather, chance of fish. Fishy. Fishy, fishy with a clan, uh, chance of uh, chips. What's your favorite way to eat these kinds of fish? This kind? Mm-hmm. In a taco. Taco. In a coleslaw. A little cilantro. Maybe some mango salsa. What's now, your... Tropical fish. It has to be poke. Mm. I don't think I'd eat cod as a poke, though. Nor would I. I wonder if it would be yummy, um, what's it called? Ceviche. Ooh. Cod and ceviche is very good. Eh, I think it'd be fishy. Not if it's fresh. Yeah. That crew working hard out there. That is just mesmerizing. 
It totally is. I feel like there should be a thing in the Apple store, you know? Like a background. It's like watching fire. But, but like natural. Oh wait, fire is natural. But like opposite. Because it's cold. Fishpocalypse. No blue data, Danny. I have nothing on no blue. blue. Yeah. No blue data. Not that I'm going to be here for long, but. So that's a lot of fish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is a heck of a lot of fish. <clears throat> Looking like uh, black cod. Yep. Yeah, when the ONC people say that's a lot of fish, then yeah. that's a lot of fish. Yeah. <laughs> So are, are these guys migratory or are they, this is their home? Mm, I don't know. I think this is their home. They can go from about 300 meters till really deep, like 3,000 meters. Um, maybe not quite that deep, but they, they have a fairly wide range of depth that they can survive in. So it's pretty cool. Very adaptable. Yeah, <clears throat> and they got like 10 million names. Sablefish, black cod, um, butterfish. I think there's even another, let me see. All of them have different prices at the market. <laughs> but they're all the same. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, uh, okay, look, sable, Butterfish, black cod, blue cod, bluefish, candlefish, coal cod, snowfish, coalfish, bichot, and skill. 
So those are all different names. So I think <clears throat> the most common name maybe is sablefish. Yeah, three, 300 to 2,700 meters. So pretty adaptable. And it looks like the experiment is just about up on deck. Uh -huh. Looking like a full back deck. Yeah, I think they were trying to, someone had a measuring tape and was trying to <laughs> tape out where they figured they could put this. on feed three if anybody's interested. It, there's like now one little pathway to walk down on the right just to move. Yeah, and then <clears throat> coming coming to get up the stairs, you have to go between all of that, uh, the winch and that orange cable. You have to kind of step on the, the platform a little bit. Back row is ready for next. <laughs> when we when the front row is red. Yeah. I mean when the deck's ready to get moving on the ship. Transect time. Transect last mission of this dive, Fabio? Uh, I think we're gonna do, yeah, horizontal and then vertical on the way up. Right on. So this is the last dive of NAA 151 with Ocean Networks Canada. We are heading back into port on Tuesday. We'll be spending the day tomorrow mapping, um, which means that we will not be on SPL. So no science party land for a little bit. It's science party line, but I like to call it science party land. There's a better ring to it. I like it. Thank you. Feel free to adopt it, Jake. <laughs> I will. Thank I'll, I'll continue. Thanks. Right on. Uh, we have visitors from Australia, Brazil, United Kingdom, Italy, Japan, Malaysia, New Zealand, Canada, United States. Thanks for joining us. Hope you are enjoying the view of all the sablefish. If you saw before the birds in the background on sat feed three, those are albatross, and there's a couple other smaller birds in there as well. I think it was up for debate what they were. Oh, thanks, Pete. They've been hanging around all day. Oh yeah, watch. They kind of like run as they get going. It's pretty fun. You can see if you check out uh, Sat Feed 3, Pete's just uh, moving the camera around and kind of featuring all of the, some of the tech that we've got. 
So there's some hydrophones on there, bottom pressure recorders. We got uh, rotary sonar. The floats were from an experiment looking at uh, neutrinos. What was just recently brought on deck is uh, an experiment. And thanks very much for the well wishes um, from someone who just uh, wrote in. It was lots of work. Fabio, I think you collectively maybe slept for maybe 24 hours in three weeks. <laughs> you, you haven't had a lot of rest. And here I am trying to talk to you. As <laughs> not very nice. Sorry, buddy. It's been pretty busy. The problem is not the lack of sleep that you're trying to decrease. The problem is that you're talking to him while he's uh, having ice cream. Oh, <laughs> that is. <laughs> Some. Okay, back row, are we ready for a transect? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Pilots are go. Okay, we're going zero four five, yeah? Yep. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we move one hundred meters zero four five please? Thank you. Go ahead, Bridge. Uh, can we do 0 0.5 knots? Thank you. Fabio, there was a s stand in view. What was that? That was in view in sat feed one there. Part of the equipment? Eric? Yeah. Eric's cam? Oh, no, there was no. there was a stand in the picture. It's gone now, so. Oh, that's a, <coughs> that's a monument. Okay. That's when we, we hang some instr instruments there. Okay. Normally so a CTD, uh, but we don't we don't have currently that. So. Okay. So open, it'll stay there until. Yeah, open spot for, or other instruments. Right on. Thanks. What happened here? I, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, interesting. I, I came back from dinner and that's how it was. <laughs> uh, hit F12 or F11. Oh. I kind of liked it. <laughs> <laughs> what are we missing? The nav screen there? Yeah. It was in full screen. We were in full screen mode. Yeah. Yeah, F11 does that for most screens. If you guys could grab a mark in time when you start the transect, that'd be great. No. All right. Hey, Lynette. Oh my God, there's so many fish. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> um, question for you, if it's a good time. Sure. Full speed ahead. Um, uh, with, for the next expedition, NA 152, will, will there be any dives and will anything be live streamed? Uh, there will not be any dives. We will be mapping. Um, so we'll be live streaming um, like our sonar screens when we're collecting that data, but no dives. Awesome, thank you. Yep.
Is this start of transect, or are we getting into position? I was getting beyond that monument, but yes, this is about to be the start of transect. Okay. Okay. I'll um, I'll clear this point. I'll start a new uh, one. We need lasers on, which I don't see it. Roger that. Do you want downlight on? Sorry. Oh, we had downlights on last night. Yeah, um, we've been doing it with downlights on. If you want consistency. Yeah, yeah. How's this depth, Fabio, or altitude? Sorry. Um, our sweet spot is between 1.3 and 1.6. 1 1.3. 1.3, 1 1.6. Okay, I will step down. 1.3 is the best. And then on my Jacob, I may ask for a couple of taps in the zoom. Yeah, absolutely. When you're all set up and ready, let me know. I'll drop yeah. a target. Okay. So it looks like good. 1.4. Yeah, this this is a perfect view, actually. Perfect? We, we, yeah. So actually, we don't need to tap in the zoom because this is good. Got it. But if okay. we hover over 1.5 or something, then if we aim this, we're perfect. We're solid. Awesome. Just to start. Okay. Look out on sonar for any. <laughs> Is this pretty flat around here? We can be going uphill, downhill. Yeah, right. north northeast would be a little bit slightly uphill, but it's very gentle, right? Okay. At, at this spot, the net. This is good. Yeah. Okay. I can tell you one thing: you're going to count a lot of fish on this transect. Yeah. <laughs> at that. Yeah, escape. <laughs> the thing's like, what's going on? Why did it just get dark? Oh. Whoops. Just need to avoid that platform. Yeah, I didn't see it in the sunlight. Interesting. All right. What do you got going on here? I think the node is just to the right. Right? Is that what we just passed? Or I no? think so. Well, that's uh, the termination can. Is our gain too high? Is that what's going on? <coughs> I think uh, someone just signed on and they missed the note that these are sable fish. So there you go. Interesting. One fish, two fish, three fish, four. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess up our counti counting. <laughs> Can we have another 100 meters, zero, four, five, please? Thank you. I mean, we could do Dr. Seuss, you know, red fish, blue fish, black fish. <laughs> yep. To count one fish. Ha ha ha. I saw a hagfish. Oh, That's did it. you? Yeah, just to the right there. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna look harder. Looks like little urchins or something there. Brittle star? Yeah. It's 
So, um, Ulrike, we we still have uh, shore support back at the at ONC. We do. Yeah. So, <clears throat> are they doing annotations as well for for these dives? Like, are is someone yes. trying to count all of this right now? <laughs> no, we are annotating <laughs> what we are seeing. Occasionally, we would put a number down, like five, four, ten, many. Right. Um, but no, there's no exact number. It's more about um, getting a note of what kind of species we see and uh, the question of, of how many of one scre scre uh, species is. Yeah, we get, we get this information by either counting the annotation or using the attribute count, but there's no specific aim. Okay, we have to know how many sablefish there are in that screen right now. Right. Well, the these translates have the purpose to be analyzed at a later date. Right. Um, but it's good to have a, a qualitative information. And what's in what is in this transect? So that's any sort of survey. You do a preliminary, like first pass annotation, just to what I saw, what kind of organisms you see. But only later on you're going to do any quantitative analysis on. Yeah. The abundance, relative abundance on all the different species. So, our uh, expeditions with Ocean Networks Canada are, are fairly involved. We've got a whole team of people at sea and a whole team of people back at home. So it's uh, pretty all hands on deck kind of work. Someone watching is noticing, hey, there's Caesar, that uh, the fish kind of are leaping the way for us. Is there any connection between um, the light that we're emitting and the fact that they're kind of, they're all swimming f fairly uh -huh. uniformly in one direction? Well, they get attracted by the light. Yeah. Short sure answer. Yeah. Is it because their prey are attracted to the light? Um, no, I, they might be able to see prey more, but I don't, we very rare to see any predation when we have the lights on and the ROV is flying. It's, I don't know how to answer that question. They are attracted yeah. to the lights, like many other species. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Well, Mal and I is back from dinner, so... I will see you later. I do not. <coughs> How about that is written on the whiteboard? No? No, not that idea. Did the idea from the um, dive plan, like one, two, three, four? Oh, none of them. None of them. Okay. Yeah, that answers the question. Okay. <laughs> We decided to do only one direction at 45 mm -hmm. heading. And by the way, this is the ID for the next survey. I'm one step ahead. Wow. Uh -huh. Sometimes I do my job. <laughs> it just looks like Hercules is getting attacked. The leader. Bridge nav. Can we have another one hundred meters zero four five? Thank you.
coming up on the winch a little bit? Yeah. Right. Got a little low. I know, we can finally see Hercules. That's what we normally operate at with the 30 meter tether. Let me see you can get up nice and personal with the, get those good shots of it's really cool when you get the shots of like Hercules doing something. Like twenty five like ten meters above. Oh yeah. Yeah. Dan will bring it down to like five meters above or a, a couple times he's gone negative delta. Yeah. So <laughs> But uh, Ballard really likes that. He likes those shots. Oh yeah, no, it's a great shot. I yeah. love that shot. I love the eye in the sky shot. And they've been pushing us more more recently to to get in nice and close and you know Uh, the eye in the sky is definitely a really cool shot. We can't get it with the Lurukai though, unfortunately. Yeah. We have a TMS that likes to spin.